Good morning, students. Welcome back to this year online class. I am Pamela Dutty, your seventh standard social science. We have second lesson that is how to communicate and land of land is. Already we have completed the uh, location, extent, physical setting, and well as uh, physical features of South America, climate, and today we start with the natural vegetation. That is natural vegetation in you know. the equatorial region of the Amazon basin has dense tropical rainforest. It has equatorial region of the Amazon basin. Amazon is in the northern part of the Amazon. It is of the equatorial region. Equatorial region is in the equatorial region parts of this one. We are having the equatorial region of the dense tropical rainforest trend dense uh, tropical tropical means high rainfall what is the meaning of tropical means high rainfall high rainfall tropical means high rainfall so it is the world's largest rainforest it is the world's largest Rainforest locally called as a salva. So where it is here, it has been covered here. World's largest uh, rainforest and it is called as salva in the northern part of South America. We are taking over there. Okay. And evergreen trees of hardwood, evergreen trees of hardwood with a dense canopy of trees are common here. Which type of dense canopy of trees we will get over there? Where in evergreen uh, trees of hardwood. In evergreen trees of hardwood, which type of trees we will get there? Canopy type of trees we will get over there. That is, you can see in the page number, if you are having uh, the textbook, please open uh, the uh, page number 145, you can see the evergreen forest and the salavas over there. You can see here, otherwise if those children don't, uh, who are not having a textbook can see here, which I am showing, this is the evergreen forest and well as uh, this is the salavas over there. This is the salavas which we will get over there. Mangoni and Ebony are the valuable trees in this era. Which trees? Mangoni and Ebony. Mangoni and Mangoni and Ebony. Mangoni and Ebony are the valuable trees of this area trees in this area where in evergreen trees of hardwood on either side of equatorial forest grasslands are formed on either side of equatorial forest what will we get there we get the grassland opposite to that these are known as lanos what are called as these are known as lanos so equatorial forest that is known as Lanos. We report over here. This one we call it as Lanos. And in the Oronico River, it is in the Oronico, it is in the upstairs, northern side of the Oronico River. What we will get over there? Basin, Venezuela, and as Pampas. It has been known as Pampas over there. Here, which has been known as Pampas. Here, you can see the southern part of the uh, sorry, the east part of the South America campus you can go over there. In the Brazilian Highlands. Where is the Brazilian Highlands? Here it is. You can see in the eastern part. Here is the Brazilian Highlands. We will get over there in the campus. So, Highland, the southeastern coast of Brazil had a tropical deciduous forest. For that, we are getting a deciduous tropical deciduous forest in the Brazil highlands in the east coast. South Gan, Gan Chacho. This is South Southern Sad Gan Chacho. We are getting here for a reason. We are getting there Argentina and Uruguay. 
Argentina is covered. Argentina do Uruguay is covered with temperate grassland to a large extent known as Pampas. So it has been branched and so it has been extended to the Pampas over there to the southern part of the South America. We can see over here. Argentina and Uruguay is in the here in uh, Rancho, it is in Rancho and it has been extended to the Pampas over there, which has been in the southern part of the South America. The plateaus of Patagonia has a temperate desert having a scrub vegetation. The Patagonia region has the desert having a scrub region on the western side of the Andes. Where it is? On the western side of the Andes, Andes mountains, I have shown you the picture. Those who don't have the textbook can see on the board also. Andes mountains were there. So, temperate deserts having scrub vegetation on the western side of Andes and the central region has mixed with the forest. And the central region has mixed with the forest over there. This is about the plateaus of Patagonia and the temperate region. Temperate deciduous forests are found on the lower slopes and has conferous forests are found in the higher slope. In lower slope what we will get? Temperate deciduous forest. So what we are getting here, in lower slope we are having a temperature deciduous forest and in higher slope we are getting conferous forest over there we are getting the conferous forest. Central uh, chill has a Mediterranean type of climate which has evergreen and uh, evergreen trees and shrubs. Mediterranean type of trees are may will get in the chill of the middle central part of the South America and it is of evergreen trees and shrubs. Shrubs means which are having a small plants are called as shrubs children. I think which they are not shown. So this is about the natural vegetation. Now we go for the wildlife. What is there in South America? We will just go to it. Wildlife of South America. What is there in which are the uh, animals which are staying over there? South America has a variety of wild animals. They are having a variety of wild animals, birds, and reptiles. South America is having a variety of wild animals, reptiles, and well as birds over there. The condor is the biggest bird of the condor. Condor is the biggest bird of the in the world. Rhea is a large bird which cannot fly like the ostrich in Australia. It is a Rhea. It looks like a ostrich. It is uh, living in Australia. Where it is living? It is in Australia. Rhea is a bird. Even this bird is also. It similarly it looks like uh, ostrich, and it cannot fly. But Rhea cannot fly over there. 
spider monkey old monkey and squirrel monkey lives in the amazon forest they, they are living in the northern part of south america that is amazon Spy, which animals spider monkey old monkey and squirrel monkey here are the different types of three monkeys we can see over there in south america anaconda python this is snake which is the largest reptile and it lives in the rainforest anaconda anaconda it is the largest reptile and it lives in the rainforest we will get a wild animals variety of wild animals birds and reptiles in south america the condor is the biggest bird of prey in the world for which animal the condor is the biggest prey in the uh, world it's the biggest bird in the world itself rhea is a large bird which cannot fly and it looks like a ostrich in australia where it is in ostrich it is living in australia rhea is the bird which cannot fly like the and it look how it looks it looks like the ostrich spider monkey owl monkey and squirrel monkey live in the trees of amazon forest it lives in the trees of amazon forest anaconda python is the largest reptile and it lives in the rainforest where it is anaconda python it is the largest reptile and it lives in the rainforest puma and jagura are large animals we can i can show you here page number 148 children those who don't have the textbook can see here jagura nama tando you can see here anaconda alch alpach it is and puma it looks like a uh, this one tortoise piranha fish rhea you can see this it is living like a ostrich in australia which is having a long neck over there this is about the puma and the jagura are a large animals of prey which feed on the monkeys and smaller animals it feeds the uh, feed the on monkeys and other animals or smaller animals the llama and alpach are animals similar to camels as they have a long neck you can see over here llama and alpach they are having a long neck like a camel which animals llama and alpach which bird llama and alpach they look like a camel because they, they both are having a long neck it looks like a camel over there and they are having a long neck so these are domesticated by the native these are a domesticated animals they by the natives inhabitant for what they they will take for the domestic animal how they will take here cow buffalo in the same way they will take it for the domestic animals over there these domesticated by the these domesticated by the natives inhabitants for working over there galapagos islands are well known for their giant tortoise galapagos island is well known for the giant tortoise these are spiders and insects like testy flies which cause sleeping sickness it will be always sleeping over there which testy flies which cause sleeping sickness of the south america we are having a variety of birds animals wild animals reptiles and well as wild animals over there the condor is the biggest prey of in the world itself rhea it looks like it is a large bird which looks which cannot fly and it looks like ostrich in australia anaconda python is the largest reptile and it lives in the rainforest where it lives it lives in the 
green parrots. To which one? Anaconda, the python. Puma and the jagura are the large animals of prey which feed on monkeys and smaller animals. The llama and alpaca are animals similarly it looks like camels and they have a long neck and it is used as a domesticated animals in inhabited natives of South America. And Galapagos is an island are well known for the giant tortoise. You can see the tortoise how it looks like. You will find in the Galapagos of Island in where you which uh, the tortoise will that type of tortoise where you get in Galapagos Island. These are spiders, insects like tortoises, flies which cause only the sleeping sickness over there. The Amazon has varieties of fish such as the stingray, electric. Fission and piranha, most dangerous fish in the world. It is the most dangerous fish. You can see here this piranha fish. If it bites, we went off. So it is a very dangerous fish which we will get in South America. And most dangerous fish in the world itself. Rivers also have the crocodile one. Rivers are having a crocodile over there of the wild animals. This is of the wild animals of South America. Now we go for agriculture and animal. Agriculture and animal husbandry. Cultivated land in South America is very limited. Barely 10% of it of its area is under cultivation. But the cultivatable land in South America is limited and barely 10% of its area is under cultivation. The main region of cultivation in the are the Pampas, Argentina, and Uruguay parts of the Brazilian highlands and the east coast or east coast of Central Chile. Where will you get the Brazilian highlands? You will get the Argentina and Uruguay, as well as the Pampas over there. And here and the Central Chile. Here in the Central Chile, we will get what? There. What we will get? The cultivation of pampas in Argentina. Where we will get in pampas here in the southern part, Rancho, Pampas, Brazilian highlands, we get the Andes of Mountains, and the central chain here in the middle of the South America, the central chain, we will get over the cultivation there. Land. Most important. Uh, crops of South America are maize, wheat, rice, coffee, cotton, sugar cane, etc. Which are the main uh, maize, wheat, coffee, sugar cane, Rice and well as cotton, etc. Cotton, etc. These are the main or most important crops of South America. I can ask you the, which are the most important crops of South America means maize, wheat, coffee, sugar cane, rice, and cotton, etc. are the main. Crops of South America like this, you have to write the answer. It will be asked in one more question. Maize is the 
main native crop of South America. Maize is the native crop of South America. And it is the chief food of the warm tropical region. And it is the main food of the crop in food of the warm tropical region over there. Wheat is grown in cooler temperate regions in Argentina and Chile. Where it will get the wheat is grown in the cooler temperate grasslands in Argentina and well as in Chile. Wheat is exported from Argentina. Wheat has been exported from Argentina. Potato is widely grown in the Andes region. Where it grows in the Andes region, potato will be grown more over there. Rice is cultivated in the Brazilian coast. In the Brazilian coast, the rice has been cultivated over there. So, among non-food crops, South America is important producer of coffee and coca. It is the non-food crops which the uh, South America will produce, coffee and coca over there. Uh, this one is the main thing. Maize is the native crop of South America. Maize is the native crop of South America. Wheat is grown in the polar temperate region that is Argentina and Chile. Wheat is exported from Argentina and potato is widely grown in the Andes region. Among the non-food crops, coffee and coca will be produced in the poor there. Brazil is the world's largest producer of coffee. What it is? Brazil is the world's largest producer of coffee and it is derived as kaffa. It has been derived from kaffa. Colombia and Ecuador are also important producer of coffee. Not only Brazil, Colombia and Ecuador are also important producer of coffee over there. And coca is a producer on a large scale in coastal region of Brazil. In the coca is also produced in the large way, in large scale in coastal region of Brazil. Colombia and Ecuador are the other producer of coca. Colombia and Ecuador is also the another producer of coca. Cotton is grown in drier slopes of Andes is exported to other countries also. It is a large uh, cotton wheat they will grow and they will export it to the other countries of the South America. So, South America is an important producer of sugar cane in the tropical lowlands. Uh, South America is the producer of sugar cane and it is in the temperate tropical lowlands. Where it has been situated in the tropical lowlands. Brazil is the leading producer of sugar cane. It is the producer of coffee and well as the sugar cane also. And it is the second largest producer in the world itself. So, sugar cane is produced in the largest in the uh, second, it stands for the second in the South America. Other sugar cane producing countries are Argentina, Peru, Brunei and Colombia. And other than the probably Brazil, which are the countries they will grow the uh, uh, sugarcane means they are Argentina, Peru, Brunei and Colombia. Grand grasslands of compass, grasslands of compass, here it is, grasslands of compass. You can see over in the page number. This is from temperate grassland, page number 142, 147. This is the temperate grassland, and the grassland, grasslands of compass and uh, are ideal for livestock raising. It will be helpful for the wild animals. Livestock includes mainly horse, pigs, sheep, and as they are small 
trees which are of grassland and it will be helpful for the horse pigs sheep and well as for the cow itself argentina was once the biggest exporter of beef in the world they are the argentina is the one of the biggest uh, producer of beef in the world the pampas are fine grazing areas for beef cattle dairy cattle well as grazing pasture are richer where as poor pasture on the patagonia plains and mountainous are meant for sheep patagonia plains and mountains are meant for sheep rearing there are cowboys called as couch couch that is c a They are called as couch. Cows. The cowboys are called as cows who are in South America. They are being called as and the best fish fishing grounds. Where is the best fishing grounds? Grounds are located in the coast of Pacific Ocean. It is being located in the Pacific Ocean. It is in the southern part of the west, uh, south and the western part of the South America. The fishing will be the uh, more over here. Fresh fishes will be get in the Pacific Ocean over there. And the Peruvina and Chilean coast are the most important fishing grounds. The Peruvina and Chilean are the world's most important fishing grounds over there. Though Peru has been the leading fishing nation over there, as the Peru is known as a leading fair fishing nation, its importance declined because the bulk of fish caught were mainly small Petegia fishes. Which were used for making the fertilizer. The small fishes are made for the fertilizer. Chill's catch is almost the same as Canada's, but mostly it is used for industrial purpose and not for food. It is used for industrial purpose and not for food over there. Lake Titicaca and River Amazon are important places for fresh water fishing. You, can, you have seen, I have showed you in the textbook. Lake Titicaca and Amazon River will be get over there, and it will be where the fresh fishing uh, water will get water, uh, fresh water fishing will get in that region uh, in the Amazon. Now we go for the population. The inhabitants of South America belong to mixed racial group. It has been and belong to the mixed racial groups. Amazon Indians and Inca Indians are the natives of that place. Who Amazon Indians and Inca Indians are the natives. Later on, Europeans came as who settled in the European for the for what reason they came in search of gold. Later they settled who Europeans and who are the natives of that region where Amazon Indians and Inca Indians. Are the 
natives. These are the native people. They are from the poor. They have been in later on Europeans came to the Europeans came for search of gold and they have been and they have settled over there. Who? Amazon Indians and Inca Indians are the natives of that place. Who? Of the South America. These people, Amazon Indians and Inca Indians are the native of South America. Europeans, they came for in search of gold and they have been settled over there. Where? In the South America. Europeans came in search of gold and later settled there itself. Slaves were brought from Africa. Who were brought from Europeans? African slaves were being brought from whom? These people, the African slaves being brought by the Europeans for the working purpose they have been brought in the, the slaves have brought from America for work in plantation. They were brought for the work of plantation over there. The intercaste marriages were being took in the groups formed mixed places, mixed race over there. So for later on what it has been uh, happened, why it has been called as mixed racial uh, groups means because Amazon Indians, Inca Indians, Europeans and Arabic Africans, they have been intercaste married together. So they have been called as mixed race people over there. The intercaste marriage of these group, uh, groups are called, are formed as mixed uh, race. South American America registers a much higher percentage of urbanization that is of 80%. They have been urbanized in the 80% than any other country in the world. 47 is the 47% is average, but they are of urbanization, they are having the 80%. The higher urban population is in Uruguay. There is the highest population in the Uruguay that is 93% and the lowest percent of the population is in French Guyan. It is in the northern part of the South America. Uruguay is the highest urban population. It is of 93% and Guyan is the 36% which is having a very least population. The dense forest of Amazon, Andean, mountains, deserts of Atacama and Patagonia are very sparsely inhabited. Where the water and fertile land will be there, the people will settle more more than. Gancho and Guan highlands are also sparsely. Sparsely means a populated area of an inhabited area have been settled. Where? In a sparsely where Gancho, Gancho and the last. The Buran Highlands. Buran Highlands is here itself. They, they are way getting over there. We are trying to Buran Highlands. They are getting a most populated area. So, this is of the population which we have been seeing. Most of the population is concentrated. It has been concentrated along the coast in big cities like parts of Buenos Aires, Rio de Janeiro. Valapare, so Sao Paul, etc. These are the concentrated, most of the population is concentrated along the coast in big cities are of parts like Buenos Rio de Janeiro, Valparaiso, and Sao Paulo, etc. Which are the most populated areas are
the coast is South America has been registered birth rate similarly to the world's 21 by 1000 average, but the death rate is very less here. 6 by 1000 is less than the world's average, it should be like 9. There, the many people will not die there. 3% is less than the world's so large as this one. Therefore, the rate of natural increase of population is South America is higher than the world's. Average for that reason, it is the world's highest populated region of the South America in the world itself. So, this is about the South America which we have been here. Some new words are there in the textbook. I will be writing on the book. No need of uh, copying anything from uh, the board children, simply for two new terms are there so that you can uh, pronounce it very properly. So, I am writing new terms. It is in the page number 155. For your knowledge, I am writing the new book. You can uh, pronounce it very correctly over there. Latin America. Yes, and is ring of fire. I mean, order. We are. Oronico, Orinico, it is Amazon, Nike La Plata, Grancho, Galapaso, Hans, Paran, Paranya. New words, new terms, Latin America, Red Indians, Andes, Ring of Fire, Ecuador, Guyan, Oronoco, Amazon, La Plata, Grancho, Galapagos, Orons. Parana, Paraguya, and Uruguya. Okay, again some words are there. Etika, warm ocean. It 
Ika. Wrong motion. Wrong motion current it is. Wrong motion current. Mediterranean planet. Cellulose. Latex. Compose. And Pirana Vouchers. Mentos, Sambos, Patagonia, Patagama, Nespizu, Pati, Newton birds are there. They are Ketika, Mom Ocean, Cold Ocean Current, Mediterranean Climate, Selvas, Latex, Ampos, Compass, Tirana, Gauchos, Multos, Jombos, Patagonia, Atacama and Nestle Zones. These are the new terms which we can see in the South American uh, uh, this one children. So this is of the this one. Uh, we have been uh, finished this South America lesson. Tomorrow by the evening I will send a video of this lesson and the rest of the work. Please complete your class work so that it will be easy for your FA2 test which will be going very recently. It will be conducted in the, this one online class or offline class. We don't know that about that. But complete your classwork, all the classwork, mouse probably social science, all the classworks you have to complete in children. Okay. Thank you, one and all.